between two teams. Let's introduce the players one by one, starting off with Morocco Bulls. From Cebu at number seven, Alfred Papino. From Guagua Pampanga at number nine, Dexter Michaels. From Cebu at number 15, Joseph Sedorita. From Avantgarde, Misamis Oriental at number 30, Max Sabellina. Coach of the Malcolm Bulls, Coach Patrick Brown. They are opponents. Paraguay in Ebro, San Miguel. From Andawa City and Cebu at number 9, Mikey Cabajo. From Guaguapampanga at number 25, Martin Gozo. From San Pablo Laguna, number 20, Dennis Villamore. From Pasig City at number 29, Rio de Vera. Coach of Barangay and Abra San Miguel, Coach Kurt Collier. Our officials for this game, Charlie Amparado, Brian Petlado, semi-finals winner. We'll have a chance to win 100,000 in the finals a little later on. Pagko kwento ni Coach Kurt Collier, they actually did a lot better than he expected nung first leg. He is happy with the progress and what he wants to continue seeing is yung balance. Everybody getting involved in every possession. Not one person dominating the scoring, not one person dominating the assist. And uh, he wants to, uh, um, yung four points yung lagi na pinapaalala, yung ball movement, player movement, timing, and spacing dito sa kanya mga mandalaro, gentlemen. Maraming salamat, Apple, and I think that's the key here, no, Coach? Dahil nasa larong 3x3, mas mabilis talaga yung bola sa player. If keep moving that ball, if keep on moving, and then you're gonna go to a good scoring position. That's correct. Man. Talaga nag-change na rin kasi ng personnel. Yeah. Ito nga, Barangay Ginebra, dati, they were being attacked on the mismatches of the smaller players. Now, check this out. For the semifinals uh, pairing natin ito. Action agad. Tabla tayo, one all. In just 30 seconds, Abajo fall away against Sabelina. Wala. Pangatlong laro na ito ng Barangay Ginebra for today. Pang-apat naman ng Meralco. Look at that shot by Cedorifa. Pero this is not the time to get tired, no? No. Dahil uh, manalo ka dito, finals ka na. <laughs> mas maganda, mas magandang posisyon yun. Gozum. Hindi maipagpag. Finally, naipagpag si Batino, pero naubusan ng segundo. Oo, oh, oh, wala yung ball movement na sinasabi ni Coach Kirk. Eh, uh, Paul, dun sa offensive set na yun. Pero Alco, always a tough customer. Mac gives it to Dex. Dex, spot up. Meron siya niyan, and it's good. Yun ang maganda, eh, no? Na-develop talaga niya yung tira na yun. LDV has it. Barangay Ginebra down by two. He goes for the two. Nothing there. William Moore. Bigay ulit dito kay De Vera. Ang ganda naman ng pag-cut na yun ni De Vera, no? After that shot. Almost a steal by Dennis. Trying to get it from Senorifa. Joseph. Four to two. It's good. Mainit pa rin. Kanina may shootout na sila ni Bosotros. Tuloy-tuloy nga itong si Senorifa. Meralco up 5-2. And Dennis is doing a good job in trying to facilitate the offense here for Barangay Ginebra. Pero po muna siya. So, makikita natin ito si Sedorifa against the outstretched arms to Tony Abilabor. De Vera. Long pass. Foul given up here by Joseph. Makikita natin ang bilis ng palitan rin ng tao nila, no? Para to sustain the energy. Yeah. And match-up, match-up din yan, coach, ano? Oh. Uh, sa depensa, tinan mo yun, no? Buting maago ni McLean. Leo. Goes in using the glass. It's good. Hindi na maganda kay Leo. Dati, puro outside shot ang tinitira niya. Ngayon, mas may balance na sa game niya. Marquez putting that ball on the floor. And he was successful. 6-3. Three-point lead for the Bolts. 7.47 remaining dito sa ating semifinals match. 
at mananatili ang bola sa Barangay Hinebra. So, makita natin atak ni Mike Gesto. But all alone. Dennis goes up for the two. Tapi ka ng bola. It's gonna be last touch on Leo. Makikita natin, hindi yung, yung pace, hindi ganun kapilis eh, no? De for these two teams. Sabi nga natin, marami na rin nalarutong mga teams ito earlier in the day. Pero coach, kahit yung mabilis, parang nakakapagod yan yung, yung banggaan, yung kiskisan. Ano? Batino, down low, labas ulit kay Sedorifa. Joseph, pahira pang tira, nakakita na paraan doon. Sakto, sabi nga, pahira pa na tira. Uh, defense of Meralco really on point here, making it difficult for Nebra, except for that time, goes to finding an open lane. Almost uh, being caught by the shot clock. Joseph pa rin. Na kay Dexter, they're trying to look for Batino na may mismatch down low. Ito, makikita natin muna. Ito yung tough shot ni Sedorifa against William Moore once again. Ito may kawala ni Gozum on the uh, transition. Sedorifa has it. Five to shoot. Balik kay Joseph. Joseph, contested shot. Kanya-kanyang hawakan. And foul lang itatawag dito against the box. And that's going to be uh, team foul number three for Meralco. That's right, coach. And off to Mikey, back to Leo. Shot clock down to three. Martin, in and out yung dos. Oh, nandun na sa loob, niluwa lang ng rim eh, no? At masyadong madiin, sabi ni referee Aparado yung pagkakadikit dito ni Kabaho ngayon sa Berlina. Seven four, Menalco, hanging on to a three-point lead. Inside to Batino. Ang hirap talaga. No? Ang hirap may contain ng isang Alfred Batino pag nakakuha na ng espasyo. And especially pag nag-switch yung defense, no? And if it's a lazy switch, and you seal, yung nagsiscreen, mag-seal, nasa likod na talaga yung defender. Uh -oh. Ooh! He'll call this one again sa Pilina, sa pulsa mo ka, si Kabahog. Four team fouls na for Meralco. Mahaba pa oras dito, 6 and 30. 7-4, napako tayo dito sa score na ito. Barangay Hinebra down by 3. Villamor, atake ng kaliwa against sa Bilina. Pumeke, umangal. Good block by McLean. Clean block from McLean sa Bilina. Oo, oh, oh, magkita natin. Hindi ko magat sa fake. Tapos, ayun. Ganda ng timing sa Blanca. Eh, mataas yung lulundag itong si yes. sa Bilina. Eh. Mike Tess. Hihintayin mga teammates. Season opening goes up for the drive. Alfred, pinura lahat ng nasa ilalim. Oo, oh, talaga yun naman talaga yung uh, strength ng game niya underneath the basket. And another miscue here from the red shirts. Naiabot na ni Devera, hindi lang naalagaan ni Villamor yung bola. 8-4. Dexter, sa loob. It's good again. And I'll by 5, 9, 4. Gojong goes in. Bumanga, kumuha ng balance. It's good. Good strong move there by Gojong going to his right hand. Still finishing with his strong hand. So, pagkakataon, may ibaba itong lamang ng Meralco. It's an art, no? Coach Richard, yung bumanga ka and then still get your balance. Oh, oh. Art para sa akin. Bonus free throw here for Gozum. Kinakailangan ng Barangay Hinebra ito. It's out. Walang anim na minuto na titira sa ating laro. Michaels goes in. Wala. Offensive rebound. Put back is good. Doon nasasaktan ng Hinebra sa mga second and third, third chance opportunities. Itong Meralco. 
Hindi makatila si Gozum. Nakaibigan mo ng bola. A second remain on the shot clock. Dennis throws it. But Dennis could not make it. Ganda ng depensa ng Meral po. Adelaide Lee not allowing any clean looks para sa Hinebra. Cedorifa, a second remaining. Tumira ng dos yan. Wala. 10-5. Gozo, medyo tahimik pa dito from the outside. Villamor, extra pass. Kamahog at the corner. Boom! Nice uh, set-up job there by Villamor. Extra pass. Gis Chete ang ating score. Pang-apat na foul yan ang Barangay Hinebra. 4.48 remaining. We go to our TV timeout. Let's see what an extra pass can do, no? Gives your teammate just a split-second opening. That's all it took for Mikey Kamaho. To nail that two-point shot. And Tyler Don coach, they're down by three. But going back to the bolts, kahit na pang-apat nilang daro ito, para adrenaline is pushing them. Wala ka naigitang signs of fatigue na. That's correct. Dahil konti na lang eh. Nandiyan na yung finish line sa harap ko. Wala nang hintuan yan. And earlier when the call-out was being made, I was looking at their faces. Nakakatakot eh. Wala nagsasmile. And then, you know, you win this game. You're guaranteed a 50,000 peso payday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cedrifa goes in. Fishing expedition. Nakating with yet. Nang foul dito kay Devera. That will earn him a free throw. So, both teams with five team fouls. Joseph Cedorifa on the line. That piece of is good. Lamang sila ng apat. Gozo Masi, shot knocked down to five. LDV, now is the best time actually and he hits a two. Yeah, that's correct. And now the lead is down to two. On Senwebe. Nagkaroon ng switch. Pasa kay Batino. Parang kay Senorifa. Ang talino naman doon yung Batino. No, in that pass. Meralco's lead up to three again. 12-9. Gozum attacking. Spinning. But he fails. Balik sa yung pektus eh. Nandun na eh, no? Oo, oh, baliktad. Ganda na nung getaway niya sana. Ito muna yung pasa ulit ni Batino, no? To the wide open, Sadorifa. Kita niya eh, nado-double sa kanya. A good read by Alton Batino. Shot clock is down to six for the Bolts. Under four minutes left to play. Sadorifa, pinatira ng dos. And I don't think that's a good idea. Oo, oh, masyado malayo dun si uh, Kabaho. Mukhang isa lang yun dahil nakaapak yata si Joseph. Kaya 39 ang ating score. Sabong sa ere, walang pito. Dexter has it. Dexter goes in, and that shot is good. So good uh, separation, and I hope what is on the mirror for now. 49. LDV goes up for that two. Short. And last touch on Sabelina, it will be Barangay Hinebra ball. So uh, uh, 3 and 24, Barangay Hinebra needs to get something going here. As Meralco really has the momentum now. Looking at the foul situation after that baby hook of Dexter, both teams with five team fouls. So, isang foul to give na lang. Bawat, bawat team dito. De Vera. Lima i hand off. Gets it to Gozum. Who goes up for the two? Nothing there. Bola, babalik sa Hinebra. Good tap there by De Vera. Saktong sakto yung uh, panggugulan niya dito kay Sedorifa. So the door is still open dito para sa Barangay Nebra. Mikey gets a good screen. Passed up on that two. He'll go in. Dinukot sa kabila. That layup is good. Ang ganda na kawala doon ni Mikey Kabaho. Lead of Meralco down to four. Attack is si Dexter. And he lost it. Babalik ulit ang bola sa Nebra. Nabibigyan ng chance because of the miscues here by the balls. Ito muna yung getaway dito ni Kabaho. Going the scenic route. <laughs> uh, uh, staff. LDV. Now with Martin. Gozum. 
goes in. Nakahanap na paraan, and this lead is down to three. Ayun, sinugurado na niya yung pectus that time. Batino underneath. Good pass made by Kes. 15-11. Goes in for two. Oh. Pasulian, and that lead is down to two. Two and a half remaining. Dexter, extra pass. Good tap by Dennis. Oh, a ball will still go to Meralto. Clutch two. Pero bago yan, tumuna yung tira ni Gozum and then that two-point shot. Uh, Gozum really making things happen here for Inebra. Said Orifa now. Wala, Sabirina just grabbing that ball. Possession pa rin, nasa Meralco. Nice feed inside. Blocking foul will be called against uh, LDV. You, you have to appreciate the passing ability of Patino, no? Very good timings. Palit ball lang muna. And that foul given up by Parangay Hineka, whereas they're six foul already. And Susan Ojan, two free throws na for the ball. Ito, isa lang muna ang ibibigay kay Joseph. At dinawa yan. Chance for Barangay Hinebra. Dennis to LDV. Pinamatian ni McLean. William Moore. Step back. Long one lang yan. Wala. We are under two minutes. Stolen by Dennis. Inside to LDV. LDV. 15-14. Hinebra only down by a point. That's really the turnovers. That's hurting Meralco here. And good blow yun, ano? Hindi pinawel sa yung two-point shot. Yes. Ito ngayon, may, may, may warning itong Meralco for delay na game dahil hindi nila kagad kinuha yung ball of the transition. Next time, they will be called for a technical. Kapit po kayo, walang bibitaw sa inyo. Ginebra, can I give up a foul here? Then penalty. Said Rifa, that two, then go in. Chance for Ginebra to tie or take the lead. I'm in the 33. Devera has it. Shot knocked down to five. Kamahug goes in. Kamahug back in the tira wala. A good look there by Kamahug. Next has it. Almost stolen by Devera. Mikez recovers and Mikez scores. Hindi na kahit si Kamahug doon dahil nakasil si Batino. Foul given up here by Sedurifa. Good foul actually by Joseph. So that's a 16 foul now for Meralco. May kita natin dito, almost a seal, but look at the seal there by Batino. Kaya hindi makarotate dito si Cabajo. May barrier eh, no? Oo. <laughs> Malalong pastor. Okay, much needed time out here. A minute and 11 remaining. 16-14, Meralco hang on to a two-point lead, both teams in penalty. At kaya ganito po yung aksyon dahil yung mananalo dito papasok sa ating battle for first. Anything can happen here with a minute and 11. And we've seen weirder things in PBA 3x3. Yes. At marami ako na-cover na sa Barangay Hinebra na yung uh, come from behind. Never say die. Nag-extend sa 3x3. Oo. Oh. Tingnan natin kung meron sila nandito. Meron kung hanging on to a two-point lead. Villamor. Hindi makapukul ng dos. Shot knocked out to three. Nakay Gosum ang bola. Gosum decides to go in. Probably a good decision there. Yes. So, isa lang ang lamang. Now they need to play good defense. But, itong uh, Meralco really trying to attack inside as well. Three to shoot. Set rebound for two. Wala. Rebound ni Dennis. Will he go for the two? Hinahanap niya yung best option. They go to LDV. Balik kay Dennis. Dennis goes for the two, goes for the lead. Wala. 35 seconds to go. That's what I'm talking about, Kiss. Dexter, na wala ang bola. Labas kay Alfred. Alfred for two. Wala. Hawakan ng kamay. Oh, that's uh, my guess with a good rebounding position there. And Dexter will go to the line to shoot or to attempt two free throws. And you can see him on new fatigue setting in now for both teams. Pero coach, 16-15. Meralco up by one. 23.6. Naku, 
Tabingi yung unang free throw. So, bukas pa rin ang pintuan dito pa sa Barangay Ginebra. German Alco, you wanna get this one just to have that nice two-point lead. The second one, it's also out. Rebound secured by LDV. Gozum, back to Leo. They swing it to Mikey, who goes for the lead? Wala. Patino securing the rebound. 10 seconds remaining in the game. Foul given up here by De Vera. Ito si Mikey, bukod na sprain pa. Trying to shake it off. Now two free throws ngayon. Mapupunta dito sa Meralco. 9.5. Yan po yung natitira sa orasan natin. Sedorifa will go to the line for two free throws. Meralco up by one. Masusubukan na naman dito ang Meralco sa free throws nila. Unang itsa. Pasok. So, mas may kaunting breathing room. One more for Joseph. If he makes this, may hirapan na dito, parang kay Ginebra. Second one for Joseph. It's up. It's out. Secured by Leo. Go to Mata Corner for the tie. Oh. Voila! It hits the side of the board. And that was a wide open shot. You know, the shot that they uh, wanted and uh, Gozov can make, but not that time. Good play, you know, coach. Oh. Nahanap ni LDV. Open. Pero tumama sa gilid ng board. Oo, oh, tama. Uh, Yun lang. Now with that free throw, pasok yung una. Three-point lead for Meralco. At may pasok ko, insurance. Maaaring mahirapan na talagang parang kay Ginebra. Pangalawang itsa. It's also good. That lead is at four. De Vera at the corner. Could not nail it. And Meralco will go to the battle for first, getting this one 19-15. Yes, but it really comes at a price. And Meralco battered and bruised, but found her way to enter the finals, beating two tough teams. And they really deserve to be in the finals. Led by our best player, it was Joseph Sedorifa, played excellently against TNT and also played well here against Barangay Ginebra. Started out hot from the outside, finished with nine points, leading his team to the final. Nine of the 19, after Joseph Sedorifa.